Hi, I just want to give you a little update on me. Uh, thank you so much for joining me and sticking with me on my journey. And firstly, I just want to thank God for what new supporters have expressed an interest in supporting me financially. And, and I know there's so many of you praying for me as well. And I just want a massive, great big thank you. I'm just sorry that I haven't been in touch as much as I have, would have liked to be. Uh, if it wasn't for the post-op chemo treatment I'm currently undergoing, which is zap sapping my energy, um, I'm sure I would be more on it. But hopefully I will be in touch soon. Do drop me a note, uh, do, do drop me a message. Uh, just a prompt me, that would be helpful. Anyways, I believe in my heart the Lord is calling me back to support base ministry, to serve local church and support local church and networking across the country. And I know it, it's an interesting time uh, for many of us at the moment, and I find myself in transition on sick leave, and by the grace of God, I believe he's giving me time to see his provision come in uh, to build that support team um, and to uh, support me and the call that he has on my life going forward. So by God's grace, at the end of the sick leave provision come December, January, I believe it's right for me to step out in faith in this new season that he is calling me to. So what does this look like? Well, how do I see myself being funded, especially knowing Ireland is not a cheap place to live? Well, I believe firstly I should see my work split 50-50 between employment, uh, for example, Spirit Radio Mission, and ministry focus, local church, growing you, and existing relationships to partner for the gospel, to see children and young people mobilised and established in a proven knowledge of God. Now, to date, I'm so grateful to so many who have expressed that they would like to support me. And I know I've not been good at following up, as I mentioned before, directly largely due to my treatment that I'm currently undergoing. But please do drop me a line or go to my website, richies.blog forward slash support to find out ways that you can give. And yeah, your support definitely releases me into this new season enable me to give 20 hours per week to support church, youth and children's ministry, networking new partnerships and relationships. And really what it boils down to is just 25 people or churches or organisations giving 50 euros per month or 50 giving 25 euros per month. And of course, your commitment to financial support, together with your prayer, is so, so valuable to me. Actually, coming on board with me as a prayer supporter, uh, not just as a financial supporter, but just as a prayer supporter, means so much more. So if you can't give, please do come on board uh, as a prayer supporter as well. And please do drop me a line so I can add you to my announcement telegram group as well and keep you up to date. So... Back to what does this new season look like? Well, I've already mentioned networking, and this is something I used to do a lot of. I love meeting new people. I love networking, and I love uh, visiting uh, around the country to see what we can do together. So that's one thing I would look forward to get back to. Well, actually, while on the subject of looking forward to networking, I'm excited about being attended the Connected Youth Retreat next month organised by CIY. Really looking forward to that. Anyway, whilst doing my final post-op chemo treatment phase, my activity, of course, is limited. Though I continue to be active where I can in my local church, encouraging the children and the youth ministry. And looking ahead to 2022, well, I'm praying what's next. What is God saying? My heart would be to do a mission tour next year, like I did in 2019, but particularly to mobilise the generations together. Though God's been very much speaking to me about the importance of taking this time to rest in him. What does it mean to rest in him? Well, Psalm 23 talks about the verse says, Lord is my shepherd. I shall not be in one. He makes me lie down. In green pastures. And at the end of this, that, that Psalm 23, it talks about in the presence of my enemies. 
And during this time of spiritual rest and lie down to hear his voice in the stillness, his leading beside those refreshing still waters, as Psalm 23 talks about, to get back to hearing God's voice and step out in boldness in his leading. And I believe that will make the enemy shake. It's why there's a picture at the end of the psalm in the presence of my enemies to humiliate the enemy at the end of Psalm 23, because I know that my place is in God, that he has prepared a place for me. Not only that, I'm reminded of of John chapter 15, verse 5. It talks about, apart from me, apart from Christ, I can do nothing. And so during this time, my prayer is, I grow in greater dependency upon the living God to hear his voice and helping others to do the same. And you know what? You can have the same assurance that you belong to God. The Bible says, confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead and you will be saved. That's in Romans chapter 10, verse 8. Because God loves you so much. And there's evidence in that in John chapter 3, verse 16. God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. That whoever believes, trusts in him will not die but have an everlasting life. So thanks so much for joining me. I do look forward to hearing from you. So please do subscribe to my channels. Drop me a text or WhatsApp. And uh, much love to you. And uh, God bless you. And hopefully I will talk to you again soon. Bye.